Greetings from Oxford, guys. Oh, I won't tell you how much effort it seems to be just to get into um, Oxford when, oh yeah, I decided to come on the week when the main traffic, the main road into Oxford decided to have roadworks on it. Anywho, yeah, at my first stop, yeah, we're going inside one of the colleges, but it's also very heavily influenced by one of the Oxford's namesakes, John Radcliffe. So come along with me.
big round. Excuse me, do you mind if I just take a couple of photos so that's all right? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, it's been a morse found for God knows how long. Presumably this is the morse bar. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello guys. Hello. How long it has been since I've waited to come into here? <laughs> well, no, I was, um, I came down in um, July of last year. I hadn't realised that you guys were still refurbishing from the fire and presumably the pandemic had held you up and all of that lot. So I was able to, like, walk down the side of it and got a glimpse. But, yeah, all I saw was, you know, builders everywhere and contractors and that. So it's so beautiful in here. Yeah. 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 What was it like when you opened back last August? Was it a thrilling day? Yeah. Yeah. And is it true, I believe, because I've seen um, photographs of the internet, isn't it true that um, Colin Dexter used to come here quite regularly? Yeah. Yeah. Because. Isn't there also a plaque, I believe, around here? Thank you very much. Take care, guys. Thank you. You can definitely see why this is a five star hotel. Yeah, so yeah, it was a fire, wasn't it? A no, it couple was, of years. The, the fire was in 2015, but it was um, yeah. quite. It, the hotel was in a state. Needed updating it anyway. Needed it, yeah, so after the graduate took over, they completely refurbished the whole. Place but of course, it got held up by the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's, it was closed. Oh, thank you very much, guys. Oh. Um, Shadowlands was a film um, that was filmed and directed by. Um, Dickie Attenborough back in 1993. It was about C.S. Lewis. Oh, okay. And part, um, a couple of the scenes that were actually um, in the movie were actually filmed. And you could see the Ashmolean Museum through the windows. So okay. the Ashmolean Museum is there. So from your windows, I would guess it's somewhere along here, presumably? Yeah, or? so that's our drawing room now. Ah, oh, um, must have changed the name, presumably. It has been a long time, so. No. Oh, thank you very much. Take care. Yep, guys, and can you believe it? I've got the whole room to myself. So, yeah, let's try and semi reenact this. So, yeah, this spot would have been where jo Joy came in and she was asking where Lewis was. And if I swing the camera around. That. If I go over and that, and then of course, if you remember from the original clip, if you want, I can actually show it to you again. Yep, literally, the chairs were, of course, set back here where these are further in front. But yep, that is definitely same view.
Of course, I think I've actually seen a photograph of this. Ooh. Yep, there you go, guys. She'll turn out to be writing a dissertation on wardrobes. She'll ask whether you can come and watch you while you create. She'll say, I'll sit in the corner, you'll never know I'm there. It's only tea, Warney. An hour or so of polite conversation, then we go home and everything goes on just the way it always has. Should we have some sandwiches? Mm. I wonder if they've toasted tea cakes. Excuse me, I'm here to meet Mr. C.S. Lewis, the writer. Uh, yes, madam. Well, do you know what he, he looks like? No, madam. Well, he doesn't know what I look like either. Yes, madam. Any ideas? No, madam. Anybody here called Lewis? Mrs. Gresham, how do you do? A pleasure. This is my brother, Warney. Major Lewis. Uh, please sit down. So you uh, managed to find us? Yes, I used the guide, and you see, it's just that you don't look at all like C.S. Lewis. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, not to mention the rest of Oxford. No, no. So you don't like that. But I'm not what you might call a public figure, uh, Mrs. Gresham. Oh, you're not. I mean, you write all these books and, and you give all those talks and everything just so everybody will leave you alone? <laughs> oh, dear. We've only just met and already you see right through me. Uh, Tell me, do you drink tea? Tea? Sure. It's England, right? Yeah, so it is. Our waiter. Actually, look, I, I'm a little in awe of you, and so I'm a little tense. And when I get like that, I get kind of, I don't know. <laughs> it's very childish. I'm sure I'll get over it soon. Not too soon, I hope, please. Because I like a good fight myself. You do? Yes. You sound surprised. No. No. <laughs> That's great. You like a good fight. Great. But? When's the last time you lost? Hey, guys. Oh, my God. I can't actually believe it that I, A, managed to get into this room, and B, I've got this room all to myself. So, yeah, I'm literally sit, sat. Like I said, the chair would have been further back. And that, of course, they dressed it more properly for the 1950s and that. So...
1652, which, by the way, that is actually the wrong year, that is a typing error. I'll flag up which is the right year. Scholar of University College, which this church is attached to, this is University Church. Fellow of Lincoln, Co Lincoln College, MP of Buckingham, that word, philosopher, no, physician to Queen Elizabeth, a benefactor of the university, was buried in the church near the northwest corner of the organ screen, 3rd of December 1917. And that leads me into, yeah, giving you more background, basically, and now, yeah, as they said, he was buried, presumably, Northwest of the organ screen. As far as I can tell, I think that is the organ screen. So here, for all we know, he could be somewhere underneath our feet, presumably, which would make sense why that memorial is there. But yes, he um, but he decreed on his in his will the building of Radcliffe Camera that you saw just outside that magnificent building and so many of the other buildings of course Radcliffe Infirmary which we saw earlier and you know much later on in the 20th century why the famous John Radcliffe Hospital that's so famous for this um, area was built and named after him so yeah he's definitely a very prominent person in Oxford so that's another one off my bucket list. Jeez, God, I look red. It is windy out there today. Yeah, didn't exactly pick the best weather, weirdly. Even though it is sunny, it is windy. So, oh, I know that's, well, no, hopefully it should revert around you in so. Take care, guys. That life from University Church College. Oh no, correction. I think it's actually St. Mary's the Virgin Church, but you know what I mean. Take care.